is lecture number nine on matrices and it's on spanning. And it was a, well, the theory behind it was very quick, but he spent a hell of a long time swapping W's and V's around, which I don't think made any sense to anyone, but hopefully this will make some sense. Right, first of all, the definition. Now, uh, we started off, he just did a quick definition. That, uh, to some vectors are linearly independent if they cannot be said to be multiples of each other. So if you had uh, two vectors and one of them, if you times it by two, you got the second vector, then they are uh, not linearly independent, they're linearly dependent. Right, and the next one was spanning. Now this, this confused a hell of a lot of people, but uh, it's actually quite simple. I, th I hope so if I explain it properly. Uh, this is where you have two or more vectors and they span so they cover every point on the on the plane so if you had two two vectors uh, so you had a, a, a two by one matrix and then uh, multiply them then you uh, with a different scalar then it will cover every point in the map uh, on the xy. If you had three, so you had a, a three by one matrix, then you should hope that uh, two or three of them would cover the 3D space of x, y, and z. Well, I've got a quick example that hopefully explain it a bit better than that. Right, I don't mind that. Uh, right, say so you have two matrices, uh, one zero and zero one. Now these are called, these are spa these span if they cover every point on the plane. So we have, uh, just a, a quick example, we have the x, y plane here. We have our 0, 1, and our 1, no, our 1, 0, sorry, and our 0, 1 here, and that's the line. Now, if you think of them like those gripper machines that you get in the arcades where they pick up the teddies, so these kind of move around everywhere and they can cover every point and it includes stuff over here as well so if we times this by two this uh one zero vector then you could you could cover another point over here couldn't you so that's the general idea behind it but it's all very good knowing that these both span because you, we can obviously see we can get any point by moving across and up but we need to prove it and to do that we simply say x we have x and y as scalars, so x uh, times the 1, 0 plus y times 0, 1 is equal to a, b, where a and b can be anything you wanted. Now if you just solve this, this is obviously a very easy example, uh, so we have x plus y, 0 equals a, so we have x is a and y is b. So say we wanted the point 2, 3, then we what we're saying here, we want the point 2, 3, we say x is 2 and y is 3, so we times that by 2, which gives us 2, 0, plus 3 times that, which is 0, 3, which gives us 2, 3. And that's just a simple explanation of spanning.